What's up you all, Neil Growing here and welcome back to the world of peace and justice. We call it Just Peace. Last time in episode 2 we read uh, the part before meanwhile Zambas and uh, we were as you can see over there yeah, as you can see we had Wanderers Morris, Badbachitus Bengul, um, Ghost Pepper and Witch Hazel. Well, they went on an adventure together over there and... Uh, oh wait, adventure? Shouldn't be saying adventure, that's not my word. They went on a trip together and so... You know, in order to create their world... Uh, yeah, and now they're gonna have to confront Xenon X-Mint. Yep, they're stuck confronting Xenon X-Mint. Who, as you can probably tell, he is a big villain. He's a big villain of, you know, pretty much everybody. <laughs> Alright, let's begin then. This is uh, exactly where we left over here. Meanwhile, I talked to Zampas the main. So after the events that happened between over there, as you can see, Batrochitus and Xenon x -Mint, they started to fight round one, round two. Batrochitus and Xenon x -Mint started to punch each other pretty much. Because they, they said they're not allowed to use any tricks or magic, I guess. Just, you know, boxing competition and like that. To be more fair, I guess. That's why I imagined they should do that. And now... Meanwhile, at Dr. Zomba's domain, we begin with Banger Striker, who is um, one of the Night Strikers. The Banger Striker is the one with the pistol, if you remember. Yep. Yo, boss! Oh, wait, not the voice. The voice is gonna have to be precise, you guys, which is why I'm gonna try to do this perfectly. If I can, if I can't, I'm sorry. Yo, boss! Boss! Ah, Night Strikers! I'm glad you finally returned! Sorry we're late, Zambas, but we had some troubles getting out of the woods. It's only because of you, idiot. If you wouldn't have lost the map, we wouldn't have got lost in the woods. We've also found these two guys. They were lying unconscious on the ground. They didn't even remember what had happened to them. So, Banger Striker, the one with the gun. Tertario Striker is uh, Inga Thief Zombie. Max Fate Striker is... Um, the zombie that has an invisible potion, an invisible potion and he can just turn invisible. Uh, how was he called? Thief Zombie, I guess. Yeah. Just Thief Zombie, that's how he's called. Josh and Bob! I thought I told you guys just to spy on that wizard zombie, not to confront him. I told you not to do it, Josh. Because of you, we got in trouble. I, I, I don't even remember what ha happened to us. Boss, I remember we went to confront Wizard Zombie, which is, by the way, which, by the way, he had some friends with him. Then things started to go crazy. Show me the footage. Footage? What footage? The footage that you've recorded with your micro stealthy cameras. You must remember, I've implemented them on your forehead. <laughs> Yeah, that's some kind of implementation you wish for, am I right? In between a test, you can copy with this thing, you just have like a micro... Oh, uh, well, I mean, if it's on forehead, no, never mind. <laughs> they can easily see that, you, that it is on your forehead. But now, I guess we're talking about a microscopic stealthy camera, which is like extremely... It's so small, you'll need a freaking uh, magnifying glass in order to see it. <laughs> oh! I remember now. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, I think we've lost them in the woods, boss. Now, the check. It's okay, I'm just gonna edit the parts that fucked up and stuff because, you know, it takes time to read and to read it precisely, it takes even more time. <laughs> Tiff Josh, yeah. I think we've lost them in the woods, boss. On your forehead, Josh. There's nothing on my forehead, Bob. There's, n there's no way you could have lost those micro stealthy cameras. And this wizard zombie transformed you into ships. Ooh, we're very sorry, boss. Damn you, Wanderers. Next time you should stick with that. Next time you should stick with what you're doing the best, which is robbing people, because you two are just some disappointments. Now get out of my laboratory before I'm going to fire your damn ass. Uh, let's get out of here then, Bob. I'm right behind you, Josh. I'm sorry, boss. I wasn't paying attention. The stupid tree branch that ripped off my bag. And so I lost the map. That's not cool, yo. That's not cool, yo. You were the one responsible with the map. No. No. Don't even worry. My loyal Tartarius. I still have tons of copies of that map. 
Phew. Okay. What now, boss? What now, boss? Come and watch this. So he's inviting him to come and watch this. Thanks. Wow, is that Brainazoria sex hole? Yes. It's not a sex hole, you numbskull. It's set hole. Wait, what? But she told us that name is... <laughs> Wait, what? But she told us that her name is Brainazoria sex hole. <laughs> did she really? Yeah, she actually did. Mm -hmm. There might still be some issues in her programming that need to be fixed. Anyways, with the help from you, Night Strikers, I was able to successfully connect to that stealthy drone, and now I can see everything that she sees on my screen. And now Dr. Zomboss shows them the screen. Yeehaw! What in the world is going on there? I see. I see Wanderwiz, Lucifer and others. But who are they fighting against? I'm still not see I'm still not 100% sure about how to do the voice for Tartarius Striker. I'm still working out that he's supposed to be an ingot thief. The best voice I can think of is pretty basic, but it won't be so much of a difference. I want it to sound like it's a difference between characters or else they're going to sound pretty much similar. I have no idea what accent I'm doing for him, actually. <laughs> Straight out again. Um. <coughs> I see Wonder with Lucifer and others, but who are they fighting against? They're fighting against the Red Singularities, extremely aggressive life forms that can suck the energy out of any foe. This way, they grow bigger in size and can live up to more than one million years. <laughs> I know, the Edgar Zambas voice, I'm actually nailing that perfectly <laughs> but the other t the Tartaria striker I'm not really getting it to sound like I would like to mm. but okay I guess you can't have them all <laughs> oh never mind wow you yeah, one million years not even my grandma can resist that much oh wow that's great boss so when are we going to attack that wizard zombie we cannot let him create a new world you said it right. We can now let him, but we cannot risk launching a surprise attack at him either. I suggest we trick him. We'll send him a fake invitation to come to us. Then if he comes, we're going to beat the shit out of him. That's not going to work. He's smarter than you may think. I guess you're right, boss. I, however, have a brilliant idea. Since I've been spying on Wanderers all this time, and noticed not only how wise he is, but how he also has a good relationship with plants, I realized that the only way we can destroy him is by earning his trust. First of all, if we don't earn his trust, then the chances to destroy him are very small, since he's very, and I mean very powerful. No matter how powerful he is, I say we can outnumber him. I know, my dear Max Fate, but the thing is that we cannot do that just yet. We'll have to join him first, then later is going to be the perfect time to strike him. Alright then, uh, alright then, boss. Alright then, boss. But how are we going to earn his trust? Wait, that's... I nearly meant... Not meant to sound like Goofy there, <laughs> Man, Goofy is really getting in my head right now. But how are we going to earn his trust? M maybe that's more like it, right? We're going to help him by fighting off all the red singularities. That way, he'll realize... Oh wait. We're going to help him by fighting off all the red singularities. That way, he'll realize that we're all by his side. <coughs> Oh, hell now, nah, yo! I'm too weak compared to the red singularities! I don't even... Oh, what? <laughs> ah, I got confused. That's Banger Striker over there. This one's Tartarius. Retry! <laughs> oh, hell no! Nah. I'm too weak compared to the red singularities. I don't even think my guns will work against these sons of bitches. With all respect, boss. 
But I don't think we're ready to face off against two singularities. I suggest we don't do something that we'll regret. Oh, is that so? Don't be talking bullshit! Back in my days I used to confront tons of red singularities myself! They called me the Raging Brain. Yee-haw! Now that's a name you don't hear too often. Everyone wondered how am I doing, and I told them that the only way you can face off against the red singularity or win is by unleashing your inner rage. Aggression, sometimes a bit of your science as well, is the key to victory when fighting off red singularities. Don't expect too much without aggression, each of us is unique in their own way. So don't you dare saying that you're weaker, you're not, you hear me? I've been putting patience and effort of your progress, and I've so potential in all of you, so don't be afraid my loyal minions, you will always be strong, no matter you're fighting against, no matter who you're fighting against. <laughs> wow, I've never thought I'm going to say this, but Zamboss is right, I feel way much stronger now. I agree, honestly, but we don't need a lot of aggression. I, I agree, honestly, but we don't need a lot of aggression to be powerful. We just have to believe in ourselves, so we can succeed that way. That's not something Max Fate Striker would say, but I guess we'll roll with it. <laughs> Edgar Zamboss. I'm glad you've realized. Now I have to mention that we're not going to fight off the Red Singularities by ourselves. Oh... We are going to need the assistance of Crazy Dave and his fellow plants. In order to earn his trust, we must become temporary friends with plants. <laughs> really kind of forced that plants. We must become temporary friends with plants. <laughs> um, sorry boss, but... <laughs> um, sorry boss, but I don't think Crazy Dave would like to help us. Oh, don't you worry about that. I promised I'll give him a taco machine, so that way he can eat so much tacos he wants. Damn. You're a genius, boss. That way we'll make him think that we're by his side, and when he realizes that he's been fooled, it's going to be too late for him. Indeed, my loyal Max Fate. We'll finally make him once. Indeed, my loyal Max Fate. We'll finally make him pay once and for all. Now excuse me, my loyal night strikers, but I must inform other zombies as well. You can follow me if you wish, or you can wait outside my laboratory, as I've already told you what we're going to do. I need to drink some water, because Edgar Zamboss's voice is so... It's, tr trust me, it takes a lot of breath to do his voice. Which one of you wishes to follow Zamboss? Hey, why'd you ask? Of course... Oh, pff, wrong voice. Hey, why'd you ask? Of course you want to follow him. Yeah, he's our boss and we respect him. Don't you guys want to go to Zombrailed? Don't you guys want to go to Zombrainold? It's basically the restaurant because they have one in town. Yeah, I think of it as the Zamburger with the goat delivery. Yeah, think of it like that. Don't you guys want to go to Zombrainold instead? We haven't eaten anything nearly for the entire day. I'm starving, I want to eat brain burgers. Uh, actually, I suggest you go and eat something. I suggest you go and eat something. I don't want you to starve to death. We all have rights, my minions. So it's normal for each of us to have a meal. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the... It's fair, right? They, they need to have their meal. They can't just go on and starve now. <laughs> we thank you so much, boss. You can always count on us. We will never disappoint you. Now go! Buy yourself whatever you like. Just a tip. Do not waste all of them at the same time. Yeehaw! We can get our favorite. Yeehaw! How can I forget about my food? Oh, of course I want to go to Zombrainold. Yo, let's go, go, go! Come on, Tartarius. I know you want to eat some delicious food. It was about time. Let's go, you guys. I shall see you again. I shall you again. <laughs> I shall see you again, Night Strikers. Bye then. Max Fate Striker, Tartarius Striker, and Banger Striker. Bye, boss! Okay. 
Forgive me, I cannot do three voices at the same time. <laughs> I'm trying, dude. Tartarian Striker, um... God damn it, this guy's voice is so mysterious. I have no... I didn't picture his voice in my mind. Like, I can't picture it correctly. It sounds basic, alright? So I can think of pretty much any basic voice. And it's just gonna sound basic. I guess we're just gonna do this guy's voice basic. Because, after all, he's a... He's, he's a thief. He's a in god zombie. It's finally happening. What? <laughs> yeah, I think we weren't talking with zombies then. Nope. It's finally happening. What did you expect? You guys were like, Oh, I hope he pays us. Of course he does. We work hard for him. Duh. I know, yo, but I wasn't expecting him to give us that much dollars. The harder we... Oh. Ah, oh, the freaking food goes off my throat is just always interrupting me when I try to read something, is it not? <laughs> it's finally happening! What did you expect? You guys were like, oh, I hope he pays us. Of course he does. We work hard for him, duh. I know, yo, but I wasn't expecting him to give us that much dollars. The harder we work for him, the more he pays us. That's true, Zamboss is extremely generous when it comes up to payment. Add some brain old. Reynold Mesger introducing a new character. Well, this one is just... It's just... Ah, uh, very, very common. Y rare, I mean. You you never quite see him again. It's like the only time you'll actually see this character in the world franchise. <laughs> it's just a restaurant owner, nothing else. A manager. Reynold Mesger, manager owner of some Reynold. Johnny, we have customers, son! Hurry up with those, some. <laughs> We were gonna tell Brain Burgers, not Zam Zam Burgers. <laughs> Johnny, we have customers, son. Hurry up with those Brain Burgers. On my way, sir. Just a few seconds, please. Jenny, are the burgers ready yet? Not yet. Me and my boys are taking care of them. Okay, I'll wait. But you better hurry. Reynold isn't going to be happy if we lose customers. I know, sweetie. Please don't rush me. Duh! My brain is so hungry. Where is the Zam Burger? You have to wait, yo. The employers are usually very busy around here. Ah! Ah! Worry not, dear zombies. John is here to serve you some... <laughs> server. <laughs> no, worry not, dear zombies. John is here to serve you some delicious zamburgers. Sorry, that took longer than usual, but my girlfriend there had to finish the zamburgers. <laughs> No problem, Johnny. I know you two are working very hard. Meh. I guess. I'm surprised to see you here. Since every zombie left due to one of the zombies' announcements, uh, <coughs> weren't you supposed to do that as well? <laughs> no. We already know what Zomboss is up to. Now, can you please give me a damn Zomburger? I'm starving. My apologize, sir. Here, you can have your Zomburger. Bon appetit. <laughs> Zamburger! Um, 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 um. Holy shit, this is so good! Um, um, um. Hey, don't eat all of them! We want some as well! <laughs> oh, I want, yeah! Here, you guys can have some as well! Here, you guys can have some as well! Thanks, goodness, yo! I'm glad you're not stinging, Max Fate! Whatever! Keeps munching. <laughs> wow, your friend is really hungry, I can tell you that. Oh, you Zamba sent us on a stealth mission and we haven't been eating anything for that whole time. A stealth mission? Who are you spying on? Well, actually, we haven't quite been the ones spying on them. We've deployed a spy drone so Zamba could see everything from his lab. At the end, he was very grateful to us, so he paid us very well. I see. That means you can pay for all of his hamburgers, am I right? No problem, Johnny. How much do we play? <laughs> no problem, Johnny. How much do we have to pay? A hundred dollars. Jesus! How much did you order, Max Fate? You'll thank me later. <laughs> You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. That's okay, yo. We have plenty of money. There you go, Johnny. Thanks a lot. Gotta go now. My boss wants to talk with me. Okay. See ya then. Huh. Huh. 
Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Mm, yo, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Why you are eating like an animal? Yeah. Oh gosh. I hate them. Their voices is so... Um, yo, are you sure you're okay, man? It's banging, gosh. I'm nailing the order wrong. Come on. Max with Striker. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, yo, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, why are you eating like an animal? Don't you know that's not polite? P -p -p polite? Did you just say polite? We are thieves. We don't care about being polite. Yo, it doesn't matter. We still need to have uh, some manners as well. I don't care what you're saying. I was very hungry. Hmm? Can you at least not make a mess while you're eating? You better shut up and eat your Zumburgers. Oh, I'm enjoying mine, yo, and they're very delicious. I don't think I want to eat anymore. Your way of eating is disturbing me, Maxfit. Well then, deal with it, Tertarius. <laughs> yep, deal with it. <laughs> and now, back to Zomboss plan. Let's see what Zomboss is up to. Edgar Zombos. I'm glad you're all here, my loyal zombies. I have new announcement to make. <coughs> so, it has come to my attention that Wizard Zombie is going to create a new world. Algy Star Tackle. What? What the hell can that be possible? Well, he is a god. He has full control over the light, and his magic is extremely powerful. My mate, Wizard Zombie. Ooh, well, the second. So, LG Star Trek, as you can see, is All Star Zombie. And Olivia's Bottle Chills is Octo Zombie. So, two new characters around here. Let's see, how do we do Octo Zombie's voice? There are definitely a lot of zombies, and I might find some troubles doing all of their voices. But uh, I can think of one for each. My mate, Wizard Zombie. My mate, Wizard Zombie. I'm cut surprised to hear this. My mate, Wizard Zombie, I'm quite surprised to hear this. <laughs> Trust me, you would also be surprised to hear that he is a friend with certain plans and his brother is God of Wealth. Jettison DX Far Future Zombie. Oh yeah, Jettison DX you guys, finally. So, the Far Future Zombie that you see from the beginning, which is Wizard Zombie's Wonder with son, is called Jettison DX. He's gonna be in the future, a common enemy of Nair Glory, yeah, a common enemy of mine. He's not gonna be like this forever. He's also gonna be our ally. <laughs> Wait, but that's my father. So, he wants to create a new world. I don't get it. Why hasn't he told me? Foolish child, he knows that you're working for me. Which is why he hasn't told you anything. If he would have do that, he kind of easily... T Foolish child, he knows that you're working for me, which is why he hasn't told you anything. If he would have done to that, we could have easily tracked him down. I can't believe my father has come up to this. Indeed, my dear Jettison, but with your help, my loyal zombies, and with the help from Crazy Day's plans, we're going to put an end to this. However, we won't just simply attack Wanderers. Oh no, we will be earning his trust by helping him defeat the Red Singularities. Everyone remains silent. Then panics. Ah, Goldie! Please remain calm, my minions. It's not the time to panic. Oh no! I've heard about those monstrosities. They like to feed on their prey's energy until it dies. <laughs> Was it too old? <laughs> I know. I know what they're capable of. But why not? We can do this. We will fight together and we will demolish all of those red singularities. Just be brave, my minions. Failure is not an option. You have to do as I say either way. Red singularities? I think my father mentioned something about those mythical beasts when I was little, but I always thought they don't exist. Oh, really? Then you must have known that your father is actually confronting them right now. That can't be. Why would he put himself in danger? Like I said, he is strong and he is determined to create a new world. So, 
We are going to help him out today. <laughs> yup, he's gonna help him out. <laughs> Until a certain point. <laughs> Until a freaking certain point, because some boss is evil. He ain't gonna help him out forever. And there's some boss. Wow, I think I'm excited. Now that's the spirit. Oh, Anubis Ratemis, which is Ra Zombie, you guys. Ra Zombie is called Anubis Ratemis. That's how you pronounce it. Anubis Ratemis. No, without the H. Anubis Ratemis. Kind of like that. <laughs> These beasts have an incredible strength, boss. I can only imagine how dangerous it will be to confront them, since our powers are not as superior as their powers. You're wrong! We have everything that we need to defeat the Red Singularities! You see, my dear Ra, everything is going to be okay. Plus, with my dear, with my super neat invention, they won't stand a chance <laughs> against us. <laughs> After Zomboss was done with his speech, he told other zombies to get ready and wait for him outside. He needed to call the Night Strikers first. The Night Strikers are gonna return to him. Ring, ring. You know, I think I should just add like a sound effect for that, don't you think? It'll be way much easier. <laughs> Not like I'm now trying to imitate the, the freaking ringing sound. <laughs> huh? Someone's calling us. Who's that, yo? I don't know. Should I answer? Idiots! That's on boss! Give me the phone! Phone's still ringing. Hey boss. Night Striker is here. Some boss here. I hope you guys are ready. Because we're about to go to the Dark Alor Castle. Me and other zombies will be waiting for you right in the front of my base. So, you better not waste any more time. And come. Doop. Got it boss. We're all filled up again. <laughs> he didn't hang up yet. Nope. Got it, boss. We're all filled up and good to go. Zomboss out. Zomboss out. Doop. <sighs> you heard what Zomboss said? Come on, yo. Pack your stuff. You know what Zomboss... You heard what Zomboss said? Come on, yo. Pack your stuff. Wait. Uh, I gotta have one more bite of this hamburger. Mmm, oh, take some bite. Mm. We need to get moving, you guys. Okay, I'm ready to go now. So, come on then, let's move. Have a nice day, Johnny. Have a nice day, Johnny. It was nice to eat here again. Oh, oh, thanks. I hope you'll come back again later. Anyways, take care out there, Night Strikers. Don't worry, we'll be fine, yo. Don't worry, we'll be fine, yo. Oh, you're such a nice guy. After having a great meal, the Night Strikers returned to Zomboss. Crazy Dave and his fellow plants were there as well. This journey fills everyone with determination. <laughs> yeah, I guess... Um, I was playing some Undertale at that time, so... This suddenly came in my mind. <laughs> at the right time. <laughs> Finally, it's time for us to shine, my minions. We will rise and we will show those red singularities who is the boss around here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Lamsey Arton comes in, you guys. You remember Police Adventure? He comes in right here. Oh, oh. What was the voice again? Um. Oh my god, I'm so excited! This is going to be such an epic adventure, and I should be the first one to record this! Sounds great, Lamsey! What are you waiting for? Get your camera ready and start recording! No worries, boss, that's my job! First, uh, I need to use some Hyper Super Ultra Charge batteries so that I can record this up to 24 hours! Wow, they're bo Oh, they're glory! <laughs> Here I come in, you guys. Yes, the keeper of peace and justice. The one we all would love to be. And only I can be, because I'm the master of peace and justice. Nail Glory, protector of all plants and zombies. The awesomest figure you'll ever see. Yeah. Nail Glory. 
Whoa there buddy, you're talking this episode way- Whoa there buddy, you're taking this episode way too seriously. Just chill for a second. You don't have to recall every single moment of your life. Trust me, nobody will be able to watch your videos in this case. Oh dear Nail. Oh dear Nail, oh dear Nail, even though you're the most brave zombie out of all, you should know that recording plays an important part here, meaning not only a lot of adventure, but tons of moments that you'll always be able to rewatch over and over again. I can respect that, Lamzy. I know that you're trying to be the best on your on your world. YouTube <laughs> instead of YouTube is your world. <laughs> I can respect that. I can respect that, Ramsey. I know that you're trying to be the best on your world instead of YouTube. So I won't tell you what to do. You're free to record how much you want. <laughs> no, actually. I'm not going to be the one who records. Benjamin Bongast is responsible. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not going to be the one who records. Benjamin Bongast is responsible with recording. Each time we're going into an adventure. God, why do I have to do this again? Well, I need a cameraman, don't I? And you're the best one, so you should take this camera and start rolling. Okay. Oh, I didn't expect... Oh, I didn't expect it that. Um... Uh, Anyways, um, anyways, <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, Crazy Dave comes in. Told you that Dr. Zambas um, allied with Crazy Dave and now <coughs> are pretty much their friends. Temporary allies. <laughs> What are we going to do? I didn't quite understand. We're going to help. A friend of mine. I really need you and your plan's help. So, thank you for accepting my request. Don't worry, I promise I won't destroy you. We're going to be good friends, David. Just like we used to be in the past. Why about the tango machine art? You said you give it to me after you're done, right? Uh, yes, I will, Dave. It's in my Zambon machine. Hi, <laughs> Gotta get my pants ready. So, my minions, after we get out of the forest, we'll be able to get to the Dark Singularity's domain. And from there, we'll reach the Dark Alert Castle with no problem. I suggest you all get into your vehicles. My little zombies, I would hate to left someone behind. To leave someone behind. I won't change the plants' names at all, only a few of them will get the names changed. See, this was initially initially thought, but only during episode 1, I thought I might not change their name. But here we go, I ended up changing their names across the episode either way, because I thought if I change a zombie's name, well, it should be fair to change the plant name too, because... Well, it's plants and zombies fighting together, and in my world, each of them have need to have unique names, am I right? If they don't have unique names, well, what point is having them around without unique names? It's simply not... Where's the boss? Where's the badass feeling about it? There's no badass feeling if you don't name them. Name them in a unique way. Now, Sportium comes in. He's gonna be called... Uh, uh, Hame buff spore pound, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> this is impossible. I still can beat this damn high score. This is impossible. I still can beat this damn high score. Just hold up. I think I can beat it for you. Cause you should know that I'm a master at any game. <laughs> Ooh, it's programish. Programmesh Eight Thunder is arcade zombies, you guys. It's the arcade zombie. Programmesh Eight Thunder. You prevent pronounce it just like this. Programmesh Eight Thunder. Eight Thunder. Like eight under. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. So, are you very skilled at playing games? Huh? Huh? 
Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to beat this high score with no problem. This should be the last of them. Huh? Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to beat this high score with no problem. Mm, this should be the last of them. <laughs> what? Game over? Oh, what the hell? No! You piece of trash garbage. Why are you doing this to me? Ah, oh, stupid game. Man, god damn it. <laughs> Too much insults over there. But it was going all crazy, okay? I guess a game can piss you off that much if it's super hard. Especially arcade games. <laughs> You are so addicted to that game, aren't you? How about I take that arcade away from you so that it doesn't distract you while we're on to this journey? Ah, uh, no, I I'm sorry, boss. I promise it won't distract me. Okay, good. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Get into your vehicles and let's start driving. And so some boss and crazy day followed by each zombie and plant drove across the forest. Turns out some zombies and plants ran off. A fool at some point. Introducing more characters, yay! <laughs> Slay down Batruski. <laughs> That's Banana Launcher for you. Yep. We're gonna know Banana Launcher from now on as Slay down Batruski. Bananas! My vehicles can't take it anymore! Squadrina Hersey. And introducing Squirrel Herder Zombie as well. From PVZ Heroes, of course. You know Squirrel Hell the Zombie, the one that eats nuts and berries, even some berry environment. Yep. And my squirrels have ran out of nuts. <laughs> what? You've never seen a vehicle that works off those squirrels? What? You've never seen a vehicle that works out of squirrels? Oh no no, hey. It's a long pause over there. Yeah, I did not notice. What? You've never seen a vehicle that works out of squirrels? What? You've never seen a vehicle that works out of squirrels? Uh, <laughs> introducing Trevor Sanderflaw, which is Pompadour Flag Zombie, yep. But from now on we're gonna go the Flag Zombie from Big Wave Beach. We're gonna know him as Trevor Sanderflaw. He can control the water, he can control the waves, he has the Flag of waves, or I don't exactly know how exactly should I call it right now, but there you go, it's the flag of the sea, the flag of the tides. Hmm. That sucks! Unlike you, my vehicle resists way much better than yours. Man, we're gonna have so much trouble doing those voices, honestly. I remember doing his voice once, but now it's gonna take me some time. That sucks! Unlike you, my vehicle resists way much better than yours, as I'm using water as fuel. <laughs> That's absurd! How can you even drive that thing if it's fueled by water? The answer's right in your s the answer's in your sentence. Right. Just screw it. And now Bounders dead beard. Bound Bounders dead beard. It's gonna be Captain Zombie. Yar! Cranworthy! Why is the ship not advancing anymore? Ah. Pirate voice. Yar! Cranworthy! No. <laughs> it made it sound like he died or something. Pounder's dead beard. Yar! Cranworthy! Why is the ship not advancing anymore? Fact Pirate Zombie. I'm telling you, uh, clanworthy pirateer is gonna be flag pirate zombie. Yep, you now know from now on the clanworthy pirateer is flag pirate zombie. Yep, nothing else to say about him, just that he has a flag that apparently can open any sort of treasure chest, like a freaking, like Sora's keyblade can unseal the freaking thousands of gates. <laughs> there you go. I'm telling you once again, Captain, it's not a ship, it's a vehicle. Then it's a vehicle that looks like a ship. Then it's a vehicle that looks like a ship. Yes, Captain, that's exactly what it is, and we're out of fool. Then don't just stand there, go and get some fool. Hold on, Captain. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy! Guess I should have told you to bring more fuel for this journey. Yeah, Dr. Zomboss, that was not too smart. <laughs> Don't worry, boss. A great adventurer has... Don't worry, boss. A great adventurer has to be ready for anything. I've got a map. I've got cameras. I've got fuel. It's all set up for this wonderful journey. Damn, Ramsey. Do you really need to carry that much stuff inside your vehicle? Why, of course I do, Nail. You never know what may happen in this adventure. Um, why are there so many plants in your vehicle? Oh, these plants? Yeah, I love plants, yo. I like it when they're so close to me. Ah, those tiny leaves touching my body. That beautiful texture. Oh, yeah, it feels so good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I see. Well, it's nice to have some company, I guess. Yep, especially when they're all over you. <sighs> I literally fell in love. <laughs> okay, wow. Can you please tell me why are all... Okay, wow. Can you please tell me why are all of these plants so attracted to you? Like, what did you do? S wait. <laughs> Okay, wow. Can you please tell me why are all these plants so attracted to you? Like, what did you even do to them? How can that even happen? Okay. <laughs> Reading that twice. That's a long story. I've saved plants' lives. That's a long story. I've saved plant lives. I've saved a sunflower. That was lost and scared pretty much. I helped her return home. I even saved the Papshun family from the dangerous earthquake. They all came closer to me. I've saved many other plants. Ugh! It sucks. I've saved many other plants. Well, to be honest, not all of them were in danger. Some of them just wanted some help. And so, I helped them. Very heroic, Nerglory. Yep, very heroic. Ah, you gotta love myself. <laughs> Ramsey Arton. <coughs> Amazing! With such heroic acts, you'll probably gain a lot of respect, Nail. Thanks, yo. I like to be respected for what I am. Thanks, yo. I like to be respected for who I am. You're way much better than I am, Nail. I hate to say that. Anyone can be as good as they want to be, so you should know that it doesn't matter who's better. A pure soul, full of peace and justice. It's all that matters. Right, actually, I don't focus on that stuff too much. Hurry up! Everyone, take some fuel from the back of my vehicle, and let's move on forward already! That's exactly what he said, plans! Back to the Dark Hour Castle. And I say we take a pause. <laughs> wow. My talent, you guys. My talent knows no boundaries. When I start creating this thing, I simply make it amazing. What can I say? <sighs> We're going to take a pause over here. So let's just uh, mark this where we left. There you go, this is going to be the one. The one pause. So I know we really left. So, peace and justice lovers. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video. And see you all later as always. May peace and justice be with us all. Forever.